SP voices we press on nonetheless with the good news despite Hurricane Dorian. Nice weather here for us, Ashley. Nice weather here for us. Bottles of water as well, Indeed. whether it's inside or outside. Folks are going to be heating up here in Alabama. Dorian will have very little impact on Alabama. And the reason I say very little is we often think just tropical impact strictly being the wind and the rain. But interestingly enough, if you get placed on the western side where we are, it actually draws in drier air. So we are being impacted by Dorian, but we're receiving the hotter and drier side of that slight break from the heat this week's end sunshine right now in Gadsden temperatures holding at 93 degrees dew points are in the upper 60s so that 93 feels more like the upper 90s out there winds out of the northwest generally when we have that northwest wind it's a little cooler but what's happened is it's the dry air so it heats up very effectively during the day and that's why temperatures right now are ranging from 97 in Jasper to 93 in Birmingham and 90 for an alabaster dew points are in the mid to upper 60s. We do have some 70s over towards the northwest corner of the state, even Asheville there at 70. So we're really kind of hugging this muggy to uncomfortable range because when we talk temperatures in the 90s and then you add in these dew points in the upper 60s uh, to low 70s, those feels like temperatures get to be closer to 100 degrees. Now we are going to get some relief later this week. It's not all heat. It's not all humidity and it's not all Dorian. We have a cool front that's going to slide in and I say cool versus cold because it's not going to bring us a shot of colder air. We're not talking about some big seasonal shift, but it will at least bring us that drier air that will bring the morning temperatures down, making it feel pretty nice. Dorian will swirl off the coast of the really the Georgian coast and the Carolinas for the next 24 hours as it begins to veer off to the northeast because of this cold front. It will eventually become a stationary boundary acting as another fence and kind of holding Dorian at bay just a bit, and that's why we'll be watching very closely as far as landfall is concerned somewhere north of Charleston up towards Wilmington and potentially Cape Hatteras there. Keep in mind that things stay dry for us. We are talking zero rain chances and we are talking ample sunshine. Right now, Dorian's winds are at 110 miles per hour as it moves north northwest at around eight miles per hour. Expected to start that easterly turn sometime Thursday afternoon. Again, we'll be watching closely somewhere north of Charleston, seeing if landfall is possible. Eventually, though, by Friday afternoon, this thing's out to sea, but it could still remain Maine, a strong category to hurricane even in the next 48 hours. For us, though, let's talk temperatures overnight tonight. We're going to see those numbers slide back into the 70s. It remains mild, so as you start your Thursday morning, we're looking at mid 70s across the board. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures heat up pretty quickly by your lunch hour, already at 90 in some spots. We'll be landing in the low 90s in most locations topping out in the mid 90s over to our east. Now, if we're talking football, here's the game of the week. Hoover and Thompson, your, your kickoff temperature is going to be at 87 degrees, halftime at 82, and by that final whistle, a clear sky and 78. College football this weekend is going to be great across the deep south. Lots of sunshine. Feeling the heat, though, stay hydrated. Notice the numbers. It gets hot in the afternoon, but look at those morning lows. By Friday morning, we could be waking up to temperatures in the mid-60s. And that is a look at your storm team. Seven day forecast.